Hello and welcome to another episode of West Underground. Today we are the Mythbusters because we have the we've just busted the myth of the myth. <laughs> uh, they are real. They're they uh, So yeah, how are you, boys? Yeah, good. Good, thanks, Amos. Excellent. <laughs> how are you going? Yeah, not bad, man. And uh, let's let's go back to the start of the story of you guys. Like, how did you meet each other? And, um, you know, how'd you put together this, you know, this band? Yeah, uh, well, you go, Tom. You go, Tom. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> so me and the person who just spoke then, uh, Cooper, uh, me, Cooper and Felix, our drummer who's actually unavailable at the moment, um, we sort of met in high school <clears throat> and we all sort of had a, like a knack for, you know, we had a really musical interest together and, um, we ended up being put in the same band because our school was called Rose Bay Secondary College and had a very strong musical sort of, um, you know, they're very musical, musically driven, which is great. And me, Cooper and Felix ended up getting put in the same band together. So I'm the lead guitarist, Cooper's rhythm guitarist and Felix is the drummer. So we kind of naturally sort of found our groove together. And then we kind of sort of, you know, like just going along the lines and we had a few different members leave and come. We had a few singers, had a few bass players and stuff. Um, and then we came across uh, Jarrah here, who's um, the bass man. And um, I, we, I actually met him because he was uh, <clears throat> playing bass for one of our, my mates, uh, friend, or my mates, um, uh, what's it called? HSE band thing. And that's the first time I met him. And I was also playing in the same band just for his HSE. Mm -hmm. So I met Jarrah there and we needed a bass player at this time. It was literally just me, Cooper and Felix. <laughs> we'll just... Yeah. Fuck, we're screwed. We're just going fuck. Like we need a bass player and a singer. We're going with this is fucked. <laughs> so um, I, I was on the uh, my ears went bang. I'm going. I need a we need a bass player and we need a singer. We need a bass player and a singer. And then um, I remember hearing Jaro play for the first time um for the HSE from my friend, and I was thinking, fuck, this guy's a pretty good bass player. This guy's pretty good. We need a bass player, and I'm liking this person just generally anyway. And I'm thinking, fuck. So what I did is I started showing off. I started like playing my guitar like as best as I could in front of him to try and like allure him to like want to play with, with me. Like a songbird. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And then... um, It must uh, have worked. Yeah, well, it, I guess it worked. <laughs> but, that was also quick to suck a cock. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but um, so that, that was essentially um when Jarrah sort of arrived. Um, but it was really cool because it was a very genuine connection too, which is what you sort of need in a band. Like you can't just have someone who plays similar to you. You need someone who connects with you in a lot of aspects. And Jarrah was that. So it just kind of worked, you know. It was just a really weird feeling. Um, yeah, I was the fucking old bugger that came along because they were all like in year 10 and I was <laughs> like 20 years old. So I got them into line and then we started doing real shit. So <laughs> Tyler employed a mum. <laughs> yeah, yeah, a well-needed mum as well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, then I guess from there we, we were playing together Um with with a different vocalist under a different name we played shows we really um the four of us formed a really strong bond together but then the seam started to wear a bit with our singer um and so that that band disbanded um and then tyler who was studying at tafe some of the time <laughs> at the time he bumped into this um uh, this wild fella who just had the fucking nastiest attitude but the sickest fucking lead vocals um just tearing it up amazing songwriter as well and just a fucking just a motherfucker <laughs> <laughs> i don't know tyler you should probably tell the story of when um you were with joel and he just told someone who didn't like him <laughs> <laughs> so, so the first day so i was in tafe obviously left school so now the band of, of myth of her to become is <laughs> Me, don't say uh, names because this cut still got shit coming to him. So, no, nah, yeah, I'm kidding. So, <laughs> all right, so at, at this point in time, it's myself, Cooper, uh, rhythm guitarist, Felix, drummer, and Jarrah, bass guitarist. That you've just obviously met. Um, now, now we're a four pack, now we're fucking like doing well together, and now I hunt for a singer. 
And then I happened to be studying at TAFE at this time. Um, and I was there for about a year already. And then like no, like no singer was really gravitating towards me, to be honest. I was sort of just like, you know, viewing a lot of people and be like, yeah, they're all right, they're all right, they're all right. But my ears were always, as I said, pricked up for like new members. And then one day I was in a class at tape and then this motherfucker Joel <laughs> just rocks in. I, I was in, I'm pretty, I'm kind of laid back and you know? I was just sort of cruising, just do my, do my thing, like listening to the teacher and stuff, you know? And then Joel comes in, opens the door, just throws his bag, throws, throws his bag there, sits up on the chair, goes like that. He's just like, <sighs> so what are you doing today, miss? <laughs> and she's like, oh, I don't know, Joel, you know, I'm going to do the re- regular thing. And then I'm just immediately like, fuck, holy shit, who is this dude? His energy is just like, pff, like it's so like fucking bang. Like I'm, whoa, like got to use to that shit. Like I had to fucking, you know, be like, all right, fuck. And then, um, and then it turns out to be lunchtime that day, just, you know, to like wrap things up a bit. <clears throat> it was lunchtime that day. <laughs> and then a lot of people were talking. And then Joel just all of a sudden, out of about a group of 10 people, just goes to this one person and he goes, know what i don't like you <laughs> i'm just looking at joel going holy fuck this guy's so ballsy i fucking love it and he's going i don't like you and then for whatever reason they had the little they had, they had the little things not gonna go into it but you know it was it was like reasonable but from then on i was like wow joel dude like fuck how are you man like you've got some sort of fucking you got a really cool fucking thing about you like you don't really give a fuck about people when you you really do your own thing and i was super attracted to that and then I heard him sing and that was that, that was a real turn turning for me to like start to, you know, as I said, my ears pricked up, like that, that was, that was my ears sort of going, Oh, hang on. There's something like, <laughs> something going to him going, I'm like, this guy, I love his attitude. Couldn't give a fuck about anyone. Like he just loves doing his thing. But then I'm going, how's he sing? And then he started singing and I was like, fuck. All right. Fuck it. Dude, I need you to come rehearse with my band right now. We need to sing out. We just recently, you know, um, let go of our old singer. And I think you'd be a pretty cool fit for the part. And then and because he was fucking just, he was, he was just doing his sick screams, his like nice wails, like how Joel sings, you know. It's very, it's very, it's very cool the way Joel sings. It's, it's super, it's pretty unique. He has like sort of wail, sort of like screamy, but like very just deep, kind of cool voice, you know. And I was just super attracted to it. And I was like, fuck. And then and basically ended up bringing him to uh, the first rehearsal. And that's kind of when we all five of us met completely. <laughs> I'm sorry if I'm dragging on a bit. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if you guys are getting bored with my story or not. I'm dragging yeah. on. Like, no, uh, I'm just wondering what, a, what that day was like for, for you, Joel, when you met the captain here. Oh, the <laughs> captain. Fuck. Well, the thing was like, I don't make no bones about the fact that I've had a very, I've carved my own path, let's say, and that, that path isn't always the easiest one to take. And um, Tyler was just, he just matched my energy. Like I also realized that he recognized in him that he didn't really give a fuck either other than the shit that we, you know, deemed important. It wasn't like, yeah, yeah. Oh, you know what I mean? Yeah, like absolutely. it's, it's, yeah, it's yeah, not yeah. like, it's not like we give a fuck about every single person. It's like, you know, if, if you're, if you come across as genuine or special or, or we deem you like, you know, like we vibe with you, like yeah. that's when it matters, it matters, it matters. And that's the thing. Like, it was just a complete vibe. Like I met Tyler and I was like, yeah, fuck yeah. Captain's hat, fucking raggedy ass clothes. Let's go. <laughs> I, I, I dig it. <laughs> so it, it was kind of like illuminated because I came from another band that, that split up a little while earlier too. It was a psychedelic doom metal band. And I was very close with all the members of that. That's the thing. Like, I don't, these are passion projects for me. Like, it's what I want to make my entire core being centralized around. But at the end of the day, if you don't have passion for it, what's the point? So when I was in Deadeye, I gave everything into that. And then that ended. And I was like, sort of in like purgatory, like a sort of void space. And then Tyler was like, come meet my band. And I was like, band? (laughs) <laughs> you mean I can do that again? Is that even possible? <laughs> it was like, fuck, okay, hell yeah, let's go. It was like a light in the in a very dark place. And it was it was a beautiful thing. Yeah. Surely, sure. surely there's a story behind the band name Myth of Her. Because I gotta think it'd be a good story where you got that name from. 
<laughs> and, who, and who's her? Yeah. <laughs> well, that's the question. <laughs> there, is, there, is a, there is someone that everyone can find, and it's 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 no one, but it's everyone. <laughs> but <laughs> but uh, I think I think myth of I I initially was thinking of um of the name as as myth of Ur, which is like some Greek some Greek god that I was like. I was like thinking like, yeah, cool. That has a bit of a ring to it. Like myth of Ur. Like I haven't heard of a band name myth of anything. So I was like, this Greek God, like, like sounds pretty cool. And then Tyler just swoops in and he's like, what if we call it myth of her? And I'm like, fuck, everyone's going to like this. <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> everyone in the band's going to accept this. So um, I guess, I guess that was pretty much the, the, that's the story to how we ended up naming it. But um. Now we've we've built it into a we've built it into a story in a way, you know. Cool, man. That's 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 a pretty uh that's a pretty sick story. I'm glad you didn't choose myth of her though. Like I'm <laughs> the fuck <fucking> myth of her. <laughs> Something that people can pronounce. <laughs> hey, just like random question that's really off topic. This one's for Joel. I did no. did I play with your band Dead Eye? Like it's um fucking underground joint down in i feel oh, like we did yeah. yeah yeah it was like some weird yeah super underground like basementy type deal yeah and it, it had that fucking like smell of like a basement like yeah just like beer soaked into the car it was fucking gross i loved it <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> carpet just swish with like what <laughs> oh bro that was oh that was a good gig too i went loose there yeah 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 like this as you were just saying that it was just kind of go taking me down a path of like deja vu i was like yeah oh yeah crazy times man <laughs> crazy times yeah man that was a that was an interesting night i just I, it's like really vague i think i was pretty that's that that was the whole sort of vibe you left um gigs that we did at because i was in um I used I used like a psychosis I was in as a very present part of my performance. And that's very like disjointed at the best of times. So it's like I don't have a cohesive conscious stream of what those performances were like. I just know I released a lot of poison. Cool, man. I just don't really know if I remember too much of anything of that 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 night. I think. <laughs> yeah, it was a fucking haze for sure. It was the effects of Joe, I reckon. We can't remember anything. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> so, like, as, you've, as you've kind of now, you've got a you know a four-headed monster now, boys. Like you've you've put the band together. What what was like the journey like? Did you go and sit around and write a bunch of songs, or did you go and just play a bunch of shows and do a bunch of covers? What was the what was the journey there? Yeah, I don't, we didn't we didn't we kind of just rehearse for a while and i think uh, we had heaps of ideas coming in um to creating music with joel because we had a we had a, a moment without a singer like at all and we had like we are a very i i think we are a very creative bunch so it's like we had so much to give and like we kind of just threw it onto joel and joel as as adaptive as he is kind of just yeah. Just, just gave it, gave it his fucking flavor. Gave it his fucking okay. spice. Yeah. <laughs> but, so like, um, like, yeah, I, I love where we're going with that, man. Like, <clears throat> Joel, I love, actually, that's so true. We, because as like, because we will, with a period without a singer for like a little while, you know, a few months at least. And then we just kind of like, it just all came, kind of came on to Joel. But Joel is so fucking powerful that it, it, it kind of came on to him, but then he kind of used that. And then bang, and then we go and bang it together, and then we went bang together like that. It was it, we, we all kind of like we all really connected, and then now we're essentially just five band members that work together. Like it was a really weird thing. Like it, I can't really imagine us four coming on to any other lead singer other than Joel. To be it's honest, it's a transmutation like, for sure. Transmutation yeah. of chaos into harmony. <laughs> yeah, because we're we're a pretty gnarly band. Like in terms of everything, like our personalities. The music we play, the way we are, you know, like not many people can sort of <laughs> feel like it's, it, it takes a special person to be able to cop that and not only cop it, but then turn it into something like good and then throw it back at us and then we cop it and then we go, you know what? Now we're one, you know, kind of thing. So 
Dude, I like the way that you talk. I fucking have to say, like, I love the way that you use your hands and everything you say. It's so much fucking way more interesting. I'm just watching going, you know, how are you doing that? But anyway. <laughs> it's a gift. It's a gift. <laughs> like, I'm just, as you're saying it, I'm just watching all my hands go around, man. It's fucking awesome. But um, yeah, then how did you, <clears throat> what was your experience like when they threw all their shit at your job? uh well man it was honestly it was beautiful it was like a, a complete cacophony of <laughs> opposing ideals and personalities and it was it was crazy it was chaos but i thrive with very rapid very volatile energy so it was it was it was also a very weird sense of like they were putting all of their eggs in this one basket like they were sort of relying on me to pick myself up by the bootstraps and give them a product that they could work with and i'll say the these boys not only are my bandmates they're my they're my mates you know yeah. so like the, the it's a very it was a very it felt like a gift it, it honestly felt like uh, like a like divine intervention you know Cool, man. And then uh, what's been like the, you know, the gig side of things been like for you guys? Like, what are the best shows you've played? And what are the worst shows you've played? Like, let's let's go both ways here. Playing for the avalanches. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, I reckon, I reckon a standout, like, so we came together, we started playing together just before the start of lockdown. And then when we'll gig ready, um, the lockdown, the first lockdown last year in April, May really set in. Um, so since we've been a band, we've only headlined one fully stand up show. Um, and that was at the start of this year at Max Watts um, in Fox Studios, which we've, we've played at once before, but this time like, we had some we had some really um, good opening bands who were like we had some punk rockers the kids which were a bad bunch of motherfuckers who just like yeah. made the crowd go fucking crazy and by the time we were setting our shit up on the stage like they were a bunch like a bunch of hungry wolves but um yeah that crowd was amazing that energy of the whole room was um, like just totally electric and we felt like so in sync as the five of us um people were jumping on the stage later on the show i jumped into the crowd joel jumped into the crowd it was just we were jumping on speakers the whole shebang it was fucking it was such gnarly such an amazing night um yeah de that's definitely the highlight i would say the best gig we've played <clears throat> um, what about the worst like the worst gig you've ever done can I just add here on Paul's question? Paul Paul uh, told me a myth, and we're just tr I'm trying to bust it here as well. That <laughs> apparently, there's a rumor that there was a riot at one of your gigs. Um. So yeah, like being being a part of <laughs> this band, <laughs> <laughs> there's been quite a few because we attract a you know a strange bunch of people. As strange as they are, they're Rough very crowd. beautiful <laughs> and very normal. So I don't really know how to put it, but yeah, I mean, I don't know about Riot, but we've been shut down a few times <laughs> <laughs> because the crowds that we that 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 we seem to you know that, that people seem to come to you know watch us and stuff, um, they get very wild and that's very like female, male. It doesn't really matter what you are. Like people seem to just love it and just sort of go wild. Mm. One dude yeah. butt naked on the stage comes to mind. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like yeah. <laughs> <Some new. laughs> potential new. Year. Yeah, um, yeah. So yeah. Uh, we've we've actually been cancelled a few a few times, like uh, mid set. Um, mm. Like I don't know about riot. Like riots a bit. Like you know, like we people nah. love their rumors. Yeah, like like they're... I I can support riot as a statement <laughs> when we played <laughs> Max Watts. Um, we we got the fucking I don't know, police we, started, we had a we had a, a code word um that <laughs> some people in the audience wanted to like 
G up at once one of us said it into the microphone and that happened once and then they shut the sound they turned on all the house lights but then they let us keep going and then on our second last song we played Night Train by Guns N' Roses and all of our followers especially the guys who get up and go crazy in the mosh went fucking ballistic and they were all up surging to the stage this is when you had to sit down at all the shows yeah, it's like full lockdown like you can't get up <laughs> it was totally fucking nuts and the security were out pulling people down trying to shut it all off and then they just totally middle of the song just cut all the microphones and full of power <laughs> <laughs> so i would say that was pretty 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 much a riot but yeah Definitely good fun. <laughs> nice. Dude, you guys give me Guns N' Roses vibes. Like, I feel like you guys will, um, you know, have to in 20 years turn around and write a book of this shit. Like, I, you know, we interview so many bands in Sydney, but it feels like you're getting all the good stories. <laughs> <laughs> it's chaotic, but fun. Chaotic, but fun. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah. Like, this, is, this is what I've been looking this, for this when we've been doing a lot of these interviews to really kind of to hear some of the nitty gritty stories about like, you know, playing live because everyone has them, but like you guys have been, you know, telling the the real, the real yarns. And I think people like to hear that as well. And I think it's a good thing that you're attracting like, you know, the, like the, the wild youth, man. And, you know, people are going mad. It means that your music's definitely having that effect, mm. you know? Yeah. Yeah, thanks, bro. Fuck that it means a lot, actually. <laughs> One show in particular, like another instance comes to mind when we were playing a double gig at Oxford Art Factory, where motherfucking Joel was <laughs> lit up a cigarette inside the Oxford Art Factory, <laughs> and the fucking sound engineer got up on his mic and started Are you like, fucking serious? <laughs> abusing him, and they almost got into a fucking punch up. Like just like and then i ended up stomping the cigarette out on the stage <laughs> i didn't even think about it <laughs> i was like okay i'll just put it out <laughs> Wait, next time no you should give it to me and i'll fucking run off with it a little bit yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we should share a cigarette i still want to buy that fucking <laughs> that <laughs> giant truck that has all the amps on it from mad max i swear <laughs> to god oh, yeah 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 oh yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, like you should have just told him it's art, man. I mean, it's art. Yeah, you're in the Oxford Art Factory. How dare you, oh, man? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like that time, Joel, you were saying, oh yeah, when should I bring a gun to a show? <laughs> hey, hey, prop gun. Oh. Prop gun. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've, been, I've been meaning to ask: Are you guys in bands yourselves? Oh man, I've been in uh, several, but not at the moment. And um, Paul, what's your status? Uh, I haven't been in bands, but I'm always around bands and all that. So I could play instruments, but not not full time musician or anything. And but, yeah, bathrooms. so I do like the background stuff if I have to. Yeah, sick. Shit. I'll tell you what, boys, I am hungry to go back after the lockdown. I don't know what I'm going to do, but uh, I've hopefully figured something something out. Um, but yeah, which uh, what have been your favorite bands to to play with? Oh, great. that's a pretty good question. Fucking hell, Maisie's early days. This one. Are Maisie's are good. Yeah, yeah Maisie's Maisie's vacation. Um, they're they're, they're uh, <clears throat> uh, one of the league guitarists. Um, Jonathan Jono, he's one of my uh, really close mates. <clears throat> Maisie's vacation. They're they're pretty fun to play with. Um, yeah, they're a bunch of fuckwits though. <laughs> he's joking <laughs> you just got to get Jarrah's sarcasm and then you're like yeah they love him <laughs> <laughs> um yeah amazing yeah, there's been a few amazing vacation uh, um, two months, like yeah i feel like i feel like cozy bosom we played with them at factory i think they're an amazing band they're yeah props to them i love all the boys in there they're really really cool sort of reggae psychedelic rock really sick shit yeah another one is um coda coda oh yeah yeah coda, coda, coda. We've, we've only played them once um they're fucking cool man like i'd be like like i'd be pretty keen like we would would be pretty keen to fucking play with them more they're really they're, they're just cool they're just a cool man like yeah, yeah. They're, they're, they're nice to look at they got the stage presence they're cool on stage and the music's uh good as well um 
Yeah, so they're another band uh, that's been pretty cool. But then you got obviously, yeah, the Gully Days was mentioned. Gully Days are uh, a good band as well. <clears throat> KY. <Okay, bye. laughs> we haven't had the we haven't had the Gully Days on yet. We had Coda uh, last night. Paul. Yeah, we had Coda last night, and they, they were oh no awesome. way, yeah. they're Coda last night. Oh, yeah, they're, they're, last night, yeah. Yeah, they're, they're cool people. I really like those guys. Yeah. So your video will come out the day after Coda. So everybody that's listening now, make sure after you finish watching this, go fucking give that a watch. Mm. Yeah, listen to Coda. Right. Got a couple singles. Watch there. Coda, guys. <laughs> They're cool, man. <laughs> um, yeah, we've had, we've had a few. It's hard to sort of uh, think of on the spot. Um, Siphon is sick as well. They're two piece. Um, I don't actually. We haven't played with them, but they're. They're a fucking great band. Really yeah, cool. Siphon are cool. They're like, they're up and coming. They're like, it's like a bass player slash lead singer. And then with the drummer, it's kind of like a Royal Blood sort of thing. But they got their own sort of flair. Like, I, don't, I don't mind them. I'd be keen for them to like over for us, you know. Like, I really like those guys. <clears throat> now, uh, what's your least favorite? Sure. Answer that. <laughs> <laughs> least favorite band. <laughs> Um. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> okay, go. Why? <laughs> my name's fucking this person. Oh man, but um, thinking there's like definitely a bunch of like bands you need to hook up with, man. Like some, like definitely some hard, hard, you know, party and then you know, hard music guys. Mm. I reckon, do you have any recommendations yeah man i'll you know when we finish this interview i'll give you a bunch that'd yeah. be sick yeah, yeah. And i i just don't want to i just don't want to mention them in in this because i feel like we've been i think, I, I, think I know what you're going to say hamish but we'll keep it after the after yeah. the recording yeah i heard ab is pretty good these days the up-and-comers they might suit us yeah <laughs> who Abba. Abba. Did you say Abba? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this what's man said song? Abba. What's one of those I can't think of his songs. Abba. What does Abba sing? What's one of those? Mama Mia. Mama Mia. Mama Mia. <laughs> Mama. We had a movie about what? it. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you know what would be an epic um, gig you guys should do? Imagine you guys, Fangs and Wicked Things, all at Frankie's one night. Yeah. I reckon they'll be out of control. Yeah, Doesn't yeah. matter who's on first. Just I'm gonna itch for Frankie's. I'll oh tell you. man! Oh, I'm yeah. there almost every week. Bec- every week before lockdown, once or twice a week, I'm there. Yeah, mm. but yeah, it never gets old. Mm. Yeah, Frankie. But yeah, great. breaking those three bands, like you guys and those other two, will be an epic night to play there because it'll just be mental. Yeah. I'll be drinking from twelve o'clock that afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> yes. be easy ass. I usually I do that anyway before any gigs. So. Oh, <laughs> twelve o'clock somewhere. Yeah. Oh, yeah. did, you, did you see his last time we played? Yeah, I saw you guys with Avalanche and Coda. Yeah, right. Yeah, that was it. Like, oh, and fucking, oh, that's it. Um, what was that? That was at um I down know. um uh, yeah, Oxford yeah, Street. Right, yeah, yeah. True, yeah, yeah. But yeah, you guys are really talented on stage. You guys really. Oh, thanks, ex- man. I was very surprised you did a negative song. I'm like, oh shit! And even the vocals were like really good too. The French, it was like really mm. awesome. So I was really surprised. <laughs> yeah, the French shit that comes in. <laughs> <laughs> and also night train as well now you guys did really well that night that was a good night actually thanks a lot bro yeah what about any um up you guys got any upcoming planned gigs or working on them <laughs> we're, well we we have we have an ep to release Ooh. so we're, we're trying to we're trying to kind of um g up our next our next gig at, to be like that to be releasing our ep or our single I don't know if it's going to be a single release or not, but we're trying to, we're, we're, our next um, gig is going to be probably one of our biggest, I think, hopefully. <laughs> yeah, we're gearing up to release our first single. We've decided recently to wait till we can have full on standing gigs, which will probably be next year, January, February, March sort of thing. But um, having the extra weight of a live show seems to be, a better push for releasing new music and we're probably also going to supplement that with new merch and a website um and the whole shebang as well so yeah definitely looking forward to it just can't bloody wait (laughs) yeah man that's awesome like uh that you're getting that that shit together behind the scenes who's the brains in the like who's the businessman in the band i'd say mainly jared (laughs) 
Mine is mom. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> <Our> mama. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. We actually have um. We one day at rehearsal, we were just fucking around, and we gave everyone roles. Like, I think <laughs> I was the mom. Cooper was the dad. Tyler was the daughter. Felix um was the son, and Joel was the dog. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we're just uh, yes. one big <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you what, Amy, she's these blokes all a bunch of idiots. I don't know how I do it. <laughs> Bro, Wait, you- Amish, Amish, I'm, Amish. Yeah, yeah. Um, I got something to say to you, and I think you're gonna take this as a very nice compliment, but you know what you look like? <laughs> Heath Ledger. Yes, oh, man. I agree. Yeah. You fucking look like Heath Ledger. Yeah, very, you got the young, the young Heath Ledger. Oh That's man, so that cool. a great compliment. Thank you, man. Like, I was gonna say, I was gonna say Michael Hutchins, but I think you got that one in the bag, Tyler. Oh yeah, true. I can, <laughs> I can tell said that as well. Heath Ledger, like Mark Hutchins is here. Heath Ledger's yeah. like a little what? bit, a little bit more. Well, <laughs> Heath Ledger, Mike Hutchins. Heath when Ledger. you're on stage, <laughs> when you're on stage, you're Mike Hutchins, Tyler. When you're on stage, you look like Mike Hutchins. You have got the swag yeah. going on. Oh, thank you, man. <laughs> yeah, I loved, I loved to fucking slightly imitate that person. <laughs> he is sick. Yeah, cheers. Dude, I like your shirt. <laughs> this one? Yeah, man. Yeah. It looks it's like tough. an Eddie Van Halen guitar. I was gonna, yeah, I was gonna <laughs> say that too. Yeah, he's it's a bit of a like that. It looks like an Eddie Van. <laughs> fully does. Like I had to look at it for a second, going, "Is that an Eddie Van Halen pattern on the shirt? Where do you get that from?" No, it's just leaves. <laughs> <laughs> no, it fully does, eh? It does. Yeah. Oh shit! My head. Is it a pot leaf or just a leaf? You know what? I actually don't. Let's just go with pot leaf. I go with pot leaf here. <laughs> for all the smokers and all the anti-smokers, it might not be a pot leaf, but it might be. <laughs> Sure. Doesn't that drive you insane? <laughs> <laughs> yes. I don't know, so you can be the judge. <laughs> and uh, like, guys, like, what's on the what's on the bucket list for you, fellas? And more. <clears throat> yeah, and more. <laughs> That'd be fucking nuts. Yeah, like seriously, we're just gonna we're just gonna completely do our best. Um, <clears throat> keep doing as many gigs as, we, gigs as we can, release as whilst releasing songs. Um, essentially trying to drive as as much attention as we can, and you know, like do our best because this is this is all what we really want to do. So, mm. um, yeah, completely do whatever is sort of necessary. I guess so. Yeah, and more. It's a fucking cool aim. So we and I I really do believe we will get there. <clears throat> um. Just a matter of hope and belief and fucking, you know. Faith. Faith, <laughs> yeah. And fucking a lot of shit. But I don't know. We're us five are a weird, fucking alienated, fucking, you know, interesting bunch. So hopefully we can do sort of well. I think I, I personally think we can, but dude, what? as long as you believe and as long as you love each other, you'll fucking get there. Like, you know, if you stick it out, you know, and really fucking go for it, you'll get there. As long as I don't turn off the lights at end more when during your set, they'll <laughs> so be hey, I can try. Uh, <laughs> take a try. We'll see a cappella with no microphone. Yeah. <laughs> Bring your own power supplies, you'll get them <laughs> yeah, straight up. Generators. Let's go to the bathroom real quick. I'll be back in very, I don't know, soon. That's all right. No worries, man. And uh, Joel, how's it like? How's it feel for you, man? Like, um you know singing in in this band liberating oh man i'll tell you there's a lot of fucking people like this is something that's really been on my radar at the moment a lot of people work jobs they hate to buy shit they don't need right yeah yeah can i be honest with you man i'm that you're in this you're in this band like i remember seeing you at tafe and you're doing a bunch of like other stuff and i was like dude you'd be a great like you know rock singer if you want yeah and i just didn't think you wanted to be that at the at the time and and that's the thing man i was i was very lost for a long time and it's only recently that i've started coming into myself and it's like a really it's like a reciprocity thing it's like i just i think i think 
people have to go by their true will, whatever that is. And you're, that's not just going to fall in your lap. You have to figure out what that is, what you want to do with your life. You're, you have to find what your gift is, right? And my gift is giving a kick-ass show with these four fine fuckwits right here, you know? Like, <laughs> and and I, love, I love playing with them and it's what I enjoy doing and it's how I want to live my life and no cunt can stop me. Yeah, man, that's, that's very true. And uh, I hope you guys keep going because if you keep going like this, you'll get to the end more. It's only a matter of time. Mm. You know, and it's the fact that you have people turning up to your shows and going fucking mental, that, that, that's a great thing. We've mm. got a few people that have whinged that no one comes to their shows. So if you've got yeah. enough grounds... <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and, I br- and I bring it I bring it back to um like what it means to me but it's really what it means to us like as a collective and I'm sure we'll get there and as much as it as much as it's gratifying for me personally like I wouldn't have made it without these blokes so beautiful man <laughs> here comes the captain he has returned <laughs> oh, yeah. back I'm back Perfect. Oh. Now, where did the captain hat come from? Mm. Um, <clears throat> so the captain hat came from um, when I was about, I think I was 16. Um, and I went to, on a family trip to Noosa. So my dad, mom, brother, sister, and me. And um my dad, my dad's a bit of a fucking, he's similar to me. He's a bit of a fucking like write off. He just sort of fucking like, he sort of goes to the flow kind of person. Did you say um, write off? Hey, <laughs> write off. <laughs> right off. Oh, good old Raza. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, anyone fucking, no, no, no. he's like that. Um, you know what I mean? Similar sort of, like the hands. All I can say, me and my dad, sort of similar hand things. Are you Italian? <laughs> you Italian? <laughs> I'm not Italian. You woke, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not Italian, eh? No, nah, but I was in Noosa with my family, and we went to one of the uh, Noosa markets. And uh, and my dad saw these hats. So um, these captain, this is this is literally one of them. And um, it's just in sort of like it's kind of like a Bondi market sort of thing, but in Noosa. And my dad was like, "Fuck, like this would be cool for you to play on stage." So I was, I was already in a band. Um, in one of our previous bands with like out a few of the members um and my dad was like fuck like like let's get one each and i went like, fuck it yeah it's sweet and then we both got it then i was probably like 16 and then um me and my dad both wore them for like a bit in the holiday but then i actually started i just kind of liked the hat so i kind of just kept wearing it i don't know like uh <laughs> it was weird because like th- th- there wasn't many fucking 16 year olds wearing something like this <laughs> or doing anything as different as that really like there were, there, like there were a few but you know what i mean like i just thought fuck it like i like this hat my dad got it for me as well like we both got one like i'm just gonna wear it like i like it i think it's cool so i started, started wearing it and then i thought fuck it like i actually am gonna wear it for a gig and then the first gig we had i was like fucking earth i started wearing it and it just felt like i don't know Dude, it suits you. It looks, it looks great. Like once you get a bit of money coming in, and once you start, uh, you know, headlining the Edmore, you just got to get the boat to go with it now. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, one of our one what? of our fleet of, of yachts, right? <laughs> oh, absolutely, man. <laughs> our fleet, we got five yachts going. <laughs> I think, I think the stories and the things going on in those boats will be very uh, off-topic things. We we can discuss something. Oh man, I feel like the captain would. Um, yeah, did you ever? Did you boys ever see the Tommy Lee video with Pamela Anderson? Oh my god! Wait, wait, wait! Which way? <laughs> the sexual, the sexual intercourse video. That video. Oh, <laughs> I have no no idea what you're talking about. No, I'm a good Catholic. <laughs> 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 well, well you know, I suppose none of us oh have seen it, so we can move. <laughs> That's another myth I've heard about too. Hamish, Hamish, can you be like Bob McFray that I'd love to see this? <laughs> can you just go to the camera? 
let's put a smile on my face. <laughs> I thought you were going to ask me to say why. So serious. <laughs> oh, 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 I blew it. Uh, <laughs> Damn it, Tyler. Next time, I, if I, you know. Would you do that then? Do that, do that, do that then. Do, do that. a show, boys. I'll come in and I'll wear the, I'll put on the face mask and just, uh, you know, the paint and surprise you. Oh, please. Oh. <laughs> yes. You look yeah. like Heath Ledger. Like, you really do. I'm in I'll super behind you when you're taking a so peek. Cool. And turn around and <laughs> fucking spray everywhere. Hey, Mitch, Wait, my, quick, why did my hands stop? A very, very quick, a very quick. <laughs> Why so serious? Just a very quick one, please. Oh man, I'll I'll do it after. I don't want to turn this into only fans. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. So good, Hamish. <laughs> oh, I'm joking, I'm joking. If I was pissed now and had a few bet like bevies in me, like I would go with it without a snap. But you know, we're doing I'm I'm sober during this interview, so it's very hard for me to just snap into the to the joker. I feel not like- sober. <laughs> Friday, yellows, Coopers, everyone. <laughs> We're not sponsored, but we could be. <laughs> Why aren't you on the red ones? Like the red ones are the best ones. If you're going to go Coopers, go full strength or go yeah, straight up. That's that's my mentality. These well. actually are, are stronger. No, we'll turn them around. Show us what the percentage is. 1.9. If you can Ooh, that's, that's, pretty, that's pretty good. When did they make a yellow one? I thought the red ones That's were really good. That holy dude, shit, uh, dude, oh, hey, Mitch, I was the exact same as you, man, about a year ago. I, I went to I went in the store to buy some Cooper's Reds, and I was thinking, sweet, they're the hot, they're the strongest beer out. But then I saw these fucking yellows. I'm going, hang on, what's it? What's higher? Yeah, I'm going. I'm going. There's the Cooper's yellows. All right, what is it? And look at the percentage going. It's one point nine. So the the Cooper's Reds one point seven. Yeah, I'm stuck this shit. <laughs> hey, um, don't tell him about that one, Hamish. <laughs> he will go and buy it. I wish I knew that that existed. Like I thought the reds were where it was at, but ah, uh, uh, yellows, yellows are fucked. Like they actually taste like coffee. They're, they're yeah. super. They're as strong as coffee, to be honest. Like it's like, like for example, like <laughs> I'm ready for the day. <laughs> Fuck man, that's that's awesome. Breakfast of champions. <laughs> Well, you tag Cooper in your in your post. They love it. They love a bit of attention. They'll, they'll reply back to you. Yeah, they, they do reply to you on Instagram. Mm, they give you funny. a thumbs up, yeah. Tag that's Cooper. Funny. Yeah, Cooper, Cooper's, Cooper's. The drink. <laughs> yeah, the drink, the company, oh. yeah. <laughs> Cooper, you're famous, bro. I do, I, I do love a bit of attention. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, boys. Um, you know when you when you're not on the beers, what's your what's your favorite um, uh, spirit of choice? <laughs> Jack Daniels from the bottle. <laughs> Jack Daniels mm. from the bottle. I, got the hey, I wasn't the asking you, Paul. I know. I was just oh, asking yeah. Paul. <laughs> I like rum. I like good it's, it's, a bad, bad. it's a bad habit of mine, Hamish. <laughs> bad habit. Do you want a drink? Yes, I do. <laughs> I was on the Jaegers last night. They're definitely a favorite of mine for sure, especially once they're in the freezer and they're really cold. Mm-hmm. Wait, boys, watch watch this bloke. The Foo Fighters will ask him to join. <laughs> <laughs> that's, their favorite, that's, that's their favorite drink. Yeah, right. Really? <laughs> yeah, I, would, I watched like a you know Netflix documentary while being locked down when Dave Grohl was getting fucking real hammered and going on stage, and they were just doing Jaeger and tequila shots before before all the shows it was like band prayer yeah really yeah. <laughs> that's so I reckon, good i reckon i'm the same uh, my favorite is probably jaeger as well for shots like if i'm drinking it straight jaeger is the go yes yes sir fuck gin though that thing oh yeah man. fuck gin <laughs> gin's a cunt <laughs> yeah, gin's a cunt <laughs> Like if someone's like, yeah, I shot a gin. I'm, I'm not gonna not take it. I'm gonna be like, oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, Thanks. grubs, grubs. But... Fuck it. <laughs> They're gonna take it. I'm gonna be like, oh, why did I take gin? <laughs> and I never understand people that say their favorite drink is gin and tonic. I'm like, do you like swallowing like you know fucking shit? Of that gin and tonic's their favorite drink. You're lying to yourselves. Admit it. Yeah. <laughs> What about, what about like it's got no calories? I got no calories. What about you guys? Amy St. Paul, what's your favorite spirit? I like I like Jameson, it just doesn't like me. <laughs> <laughs> I 
that's, that's a classic for alcohol. <laughs> I can see you fellas being fans of the red goon bag as well, for sure. <laughs> no, nah, nah, that's not us too far. <laughs> <laughs> that's insulting. Sitting in the gutter, having a guzzle. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, when you're just when you're just on your run looking for half done durries in the gutter, and you're like, oh, I want a goon sack, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and I have to say, I, I never wish I was I joking. Got, <laughs> I never got the it was in a punch. What? What was that, Amish? I never, I never really drank goon unless it was in a punch. Like unless somebody had made like a communal punch. Oh fuck! Uh, Are you serious? Hang on a second. <laughs> <laughs> we get fucked. <laughs> Hamish, Hamish. So have you never experienced a goon bag in its most precious self? I have. I bag have. And, and, drink, and drink it, and drink it from the nectar. No, because somebody sure. else would bring a tasty drink, and I'll just go pinch some of that. You know, yeah. if you the last option, I'll just go you know, rob you know some poor bastard and his esky. <laughs> hang on, wait, but have you have you hang on, have you actually had the nectar of goon, whatever you whatever the choice is, and had the suckle of that beautiful black, <laughs> that beautiful devil black fucking motherfucker button? And you go, surely. Surely. Yeah, I have I have, but I'm just not like it's just not my first go to because it's just a dead it's just deadly it's just down from there isn't it like as soon as you're going and sucking on those nips mate you're 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 fucking yeah. as soon as you suck on those nips you're fucked too much yeah so that... <laughs> I've actually got a good goon story Tyler can weigh in here um it was just before lockdown or. Oh. Yeah, just before lockdown, when Tool came to us, to Sydney, <laughs> and I was with Tyler and Jono, who's the fellow Tyler mentioned late earlier from Maisie's vacation. Maisie's vacation, yeah. And we were suckling. We had so much. We had a four liter goon bag, and we were just destroying ourselves in the train, not knowing how fucking blind we were. <laughs> and anyway, so we like we were drinking this the whole train ride out to Kudos Bank Arena or whatever. And somehow we got split up, like with ticketing shit. Um, and we went in separately into the mosh, and it was a fucking incredible gig. But then we linked up again on our way. Home. <laughs> and I don't remember this, but I apparently, like, I fucking tried to get into a brawl with Tyler and Jono, and then I spat <laughs> on a stranger on the train. <laughs> uh, and he was just like, hmm. so good. <laughs> all right, so I'll, I'll, yeah, all right, so you go for a Tyler. <laughs> so we went to a tour gig, tour, fucking, fucking unbelievable band. So I can't really oh, be great. appreciate mm. it. How good a tour, fuck. <clears throat> anyway, aside from that, so we went to the tour gig, they were unbelievable. Um, and then, so as my, my friend from my friend Jono, who was from Maze's Vacation, who I mentioned before, um, Jara and me. We're on the train. We had this goon sack and we're just pumping it, just having as much as we could. We're just trying to get fucked, like, you know, one wherever we were on, and then we just wouldn't get more fucked. And then, and then like, Jarrah just, you know, when, you know, when like you're drinking with your mates and stuff, and then like all of a sudden one mate just starts to get more fucked than the rest. And it just, oh, yes. for whatever reason, you know, like it just happens for whatever reason. <laughs> It's just that person. It's just it's just not that mate's night tonight, or it is that mate's night tonight, depending on how you're looking at it. You know, it's a perspective thing, isn't it? Perspective thing, you know. <laughs> so it was Jarrah's night. <laughs> so me and Jono were just cruising. We're having some we're having some drinks. But I was like kind of amped up. I was just like enjoying myself, you know. And so was he. <laughs> Jarrah was way gone. Just happened to be his night that night, you know, as I explained. And then I think we just on the oh, we're on the train with him and Jared just went, I got to spit. <sighs> <laughs> and accidentally spat on all these fucking people. <laughs> and they're always like, what's going on, bro? Like they were kind of pissed off and they're sort of like kind of like they weren't happy about it. They were like, what's going on? You just spit on you just spit on me. And then we me and my mate John I had to sort of like, you know obviously integrate and be like oh fuck hang on so me and mate john were like oh no 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 mate your mate's fuck like you know <laughs> just that he's just it's just it's just how it goes old mates out to lunch you know <laughs> old mates out to lunch he's just cruising now you know and then you know they eventually wind down <laughs> jarrah 
I don't know why it happened, but you know, we kept drinking and then Jared kept drinking as well. <laughs> For some reason, at one one of the stops of the train, <clears throat> it was me, Jared, and Jono from Macy's vacation. And we're, we're, we're standing up now. We're, we're at the bottom of the train where you're about to get off. And then um, I don't know what sparked it, but like something fucking happened. And then Jared just went fucking in his head. Fuck you guys. <laughs> He's so fucking like... <laughs> at both of us Jared, Jared my, I love Jared so much man. Like, <laughs> you punch me in the face it wasn't that it wasn't that bad like I, I mean, it really wasn't that it wasn't that like much of a punch thing. like a woman <laughs> <laughs> no but, it, but he didn't really want to hurt anyone I remember really I really remember that like he punched me he didn't really want to hurt anyone but he punched me and I was going holy fuck like oh my lip and then he tried to punch up Jono and then Jono grabbed him and he's just holding him back <laughs> Jared's just going ah! and I'm going Jarrah you just punch me in the face <laughs> and I just remember seeing like Jarrah go oh <laughs> it's like all his drunkenness just wore off in a second he was like oh oh <laughs> that wasn't <Dude. laughs> that wasn't me <laughs> but um yeah that story comes with no hate to Jara. Jara is a very amazing person. Oh, can you see my lips? <laughs> <laughs> That's for Jara. Oh, love you, baby. Hey, Jara, can you hook up with me? Oh, yeah. Oh, mate. Oh, you're here again, are you? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Tyler, do you remember when those two, two chicks in the bathroom tried calling us homophobic? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was retarded. Hey, I'm so dumb. I do remember that, yeah. <laughs> Two chicks called you guys homophobic. Yeah, straight up. Then we yeah. macked on in front of them and said, Is this homophobic? <laughs> <laughs> so me and Joel, me and Joel literally kissed each other on the lips for like Oh, you're homophobic, are we? And we went, <laughs> and I was still like, hmm, harumph. <laughs> oh, so good. Then, were they, did they still tell you that? <laughs> oh, man. No, nah, they didn't know what the fuck to say. They, they went up with yeah, their tail yeah, between their legs. Like, they were like, oh, well, oh, defeated. <laughs> I love that, man. I, that, that is gold. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and and uh and and like how did how did how did they start, you know, what what caused them to start kind of Oh, we we slur at each other all the time. We say everything that you're not supposed to say to to <laughs> people. <laughs> yeah, so essentially like me and Joe went to the bathroom and like like all, everyone in the band is very homo approving. <laughs> in other words, <laughs> like like I don't like we like we don't personally give a fuck if you're gay, straight, lesbian, trans. You could be a fucking trigender pyro fox from Narnia for all I care. Fuck. Just fucking <laughs> fuck. Like, just be yourself, you know, kind of thing. But um, <laughs> for me, and Joe, like translating some words that's not re- very appropriate, and then oh, very politically correct. Exactly, <laughs> and then and then and then two women uh, didn't like that, and then we try to explain that no, it's just how me and him talk to each other. But then they were like, like no, no, you no. guys are very, yeah. <laughs> like, no, no, you're homophobic, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly that. So then, so then me and Joel were like, oh, fuck it. Well, is this homophobic? So we, <laughs> <laughs> so we, kiss, we kiss each other on the lips and we're just like, is that homophobic? And they still hated us. <laughs> yeah. In fact, they hated us more after that. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was, <laughs> well, who was, was the real, uh, who had the real problems there? Who was the real uh, straight up straight Mom, up dude, like bro, who it's like it's like that guilty white dude who like sees like a blackboard and he's like well i can't say blackboard that's not politically correct <laughs> it's like ah, uh, dude whatever <laughs> and the funniest the funniest thing is about like this whole like politically correct movement is like there's so many people that are getting on the bandwagon for all the wrong reasons and just using oh yeah used to 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 be to be a, some kind of authority yeah yeah i mean as as soon like i i saw this this little fucking like visual meme type thing and it was like meme oh god i'm like 40 years old um <laughs> <laughs> uh it was like i can't do that because of my religion that's fine 
you can't do that because of my religion. That's not so okay. And I feel like this whole identitarian thing is becoming almost like a religion in that there's dogma and there's blasphemy and there's all that kind of shit. And it's like, hmm, I don't know, man. I guess we'll see what happens. Yeah, man. I reckon it's just gotten to a point now where it's starting to collapse on itself. You know. Whole- I agree. I agree. Like people are fed up. Yeah. People are just done. Like walking on eggshells all the fucking time. Yeah. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, it, it's so true. And I, <clears throat> plus, you went to tape, yeah, man. Like, yeah, I did. You went to tape. Like, I, I don't think there's anything that you know, like we didn't see. Like, you know. Oh, straight up, there was every like if you could imagine it, it was there. Yeah, pretty much. Like, I feel like that's the best like baptism to like the world of anything and everything. Oh, trial by fire for sure. Pretty much, man. <laughs> yeah. Shout out to Ultimo. Oh, Ultima. Hey, yeah. yeah. Hey. Deep in my heart, I feel it, man. Fucking, there's a warm place for Ultimo with me. Yeah, man. Still to this day, like, did you follow, you would have done your diploma and I don't know if you did the advanced one. I or... didn't do the advanced, but I did the diploma, yeah. After you do the other one, you know, then you can go to Western Sydney Uni. Anyway, so I finished off my, actually, I didn't end up finishing the advanced diploma, but I somehow got into uni and went yeah. to Sydney. And then I was like, this is shit compared, mm. to, compared to TAFE where you're, where the best way of learning anything you want, mm. just kind of have the freedom and the teachers are like, yeah, okay. I'll explain. Well, it's, it's, a, it's a difference in environment, like in a trade school, like it's, it's about utility. It's about how useful and productive you can be in higher education, such as university. It's more about the status and like the, the identity that you that comes with higher education right like so now that you're educated you're you're pre-programmed to believe a certain way and it's like if you don't if you're not with us you're against us and it's just a whole tribalistic very tribalistic view of things yeah man i was just like i can't be in the wanky camp anymore nah i feel you i feel you you want to be mighty the human will to power is a thing yeah and um you know and then anyway it was the best in a way it was the best decision i made to kind of get out of there but yeah uh, you know it's interesting that there's three of us in this chat that all kind of went to ultimo was there at some point Mm. yeah yeah Yeah, i thought it was cool um hamish what did you do in ultimo i did i did the same thing i think you boys did i did like the performance like diploma did you do that as well yeah yeah I'm I'm 22 now, but you boys, Mm. I think Joel, you're in the class like below me. Yeah, I was. um, I got in after traveling Europe for a bit, so uh, I started with a cert three and then did diploma. But I was um, shaky mental health during that time, so I had to get a bunch of extensions and shit. Yeah, man. Well, at least you finished it, you know. Well, that's the thing, man. Like baby steps, one one day at a time, you know. Yeah, man. At least you're better now. You sound good. I feel good, man. I really do. I really feel good. Yeah, Joel. Um, Joel's a fucking weapon, dude. Like he, he's come, he's come, he's come a lot. He's come a long way, and I'm pretty proud. (laughs) (laughs) I just (laughs) like as a mate, I'm pretty proud of him. Fuck. Cheers, brother. I'm pretty well. No, nice, guys, and I think we're getting very close to wrapping this interview up because I'm very sure questions. I don't know about you, Paul, but the final yeah, one- I feel like this has been the ent- most entertaining we've done so far. Yeah. It's been wild, <laughs> it's been wild. You guys, yeah, that's been sad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I didn't no, say no, like, you guys have been like the most wild, obviously, with the stories and everything. I just want to mm. thank you guys for coming on and absolutely, hey, thanks letting for loose. having us, man. Yeah, yeah, that's a thank pleasure, guys. Um. What would you like to say before we wrap it up? Do you want to shout out to anybody? Shout out Macy's Vacation. <laughs> <laughs> shout out to the people who believe in the myth of her. Yeah. Uh, yeah, sh- yeah, shout out to fucking everyone who, you know, who sort of heard our name and like, you know, <laughs> it, like it even heard our name. Like just shout out to everyone who fucking just <laughs> believes in us a little bit. <laughs> shout out to everyone. Shout out it to him. It means a lot. It means a lot. <laughs> Like even if you just hear our name, you go, I miss have heard, you have heard of them. Like shout out to those people, even you know. Mm. Shout out to you guys as well for fucking having us. Like shout, like just shout out to fucking anyone who 
<laughs> cares about us. That's <laughs> <laughs> what I'm trying to say. Yeah. Shout out to Mr. Tony. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. The biggest <laughs> cocksucker of all. We love him. <laughs> oh, I see. I oh, see. I oh, see. <laughs> Mr. RC. Mr. RC as well. RC. <laughs> but um and Felix, the fuck who didn't show oh, up. Oh yeah. Felix <laughs> just, got here. just the most interesting member to be fucking missing. <laughs> <laughs> oh. right, boys, I reckon I reckon we should end the interview here. We're starting to sound like an Oscar speech. That's it, that's it, that's it. Yeah. <laughs>